Misogyny is such a fun word for something so terrible. Misogyny reminds me of that episode <laughs> of Glee. Respectful, bullying, sexist, and I hate to say it, misogynistic. I have no idea what that means. When I pulled my hamstring, I went to a misogynist. Well, who am I to hold you from the content? Let's get straight into it. If you watch Cinderella in reverse, it's about a woman who learns her place. God damn. First of all, it would be Benjamin Button. She'd be de-aging the entire time. De-aging? Sure, falling out of love until she becomes a servant back to her family. So technically, this is not what y'all want. Because if we're talking from the typical standpoint of traditional women, you don't you want them to get married off and then cook and clean and work for a husband? Because right now she's just doing it for her sisters, which technically should make misogynists even angrier because it's a woman doing things only for other women. Fucking gotcha. <laughs> Taylor Swift has, ooh, don't even, you don't even start. I'm gonna read it, but I'm not gonna do it happily. Taylor Swift has written a hundred songs about guys dumping her and none about making her man a sandwich and fetching him a beer. Coincidence? I don't think so. That shit is so funny. I have never heard a joke even somewhat near this. I've never even heard a joke regarding Taylor Swift about men. That is the most wild, creative thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Nobody could have guessed where this joke was going or who it was targeting. That would be absurd. <laughs> I'm more concerned about how many men live off of nothing but sandwiches and beer at this point because from all the misogynistic jokes I've heard, it sounds like that's their entire diet. They are just constantly wasted and full of white bread and that is it. And then you send them off to their construction job where they hammer their own hand 30 times because they, they're seeing cross-eyed. Um, I think that this joke says more about those men than a woman. Oh, what about my sandwich and beer? What about your health? I'm just, you wake up, you eat your sandwich, you drink your beer? Um, hundred songs about guys dumping her. Actually, most of her songs are not about men dumping her. Yes, like any other artist in the world, she writes love songs sometimes. She's lots of songs that aren't. Like ones that just come to like my mind immediately. Long live, shake it off, innocent, never grow up, Ronin, like there's so many, that's just like off the dome. But of course a woman talking about love is just stupid and silly and too much. It only matters when men talk about <laughs> the girl that broke their heart in middle school that they cheated on and can't get over even though they're 23. Also, I think it's funny that Taylor Swift is now dating Travis Kelsey, which is one of the men's guys, as in like a football boy. When you find the perfect 2022 Ferrari, but it's got over 200k miles on it. Wow, I never would have guessed that men would compare women to cars. The absolute shock running through my body right now. I have never seen something like this. Never a comparison so alike. Never a simile so real. This, my friends, is the only joke of them. I'm so tired of these memes just shitting on single moms. It's so, it's so wild to me because men will say this and they'll have a single mother that they're like a mama boy about. And obviously that doesn't go for every person who's ever made this joke, but that's something I've noticed a lot of the time is the people who make these jokes have single mothers that they're like so mommy boy about, but then they'll go around and turn and shit on other women. It really shows you like the lack of critical thought. Like I'm pretty sure last time we did this video, there was one that was like dating in your thirties and one of the crossroads was like woman with kids and it's like a negative. I understand if you're not ready for kids. I understand if you don't want to be a stepdad, okay? Don't. Just don't date her. Don't be with her. You don't have to run around shitting on single moms and comparing them to cars and being like, when she's hot, but she has children, fucking ew, that's 200K miles on that. That's run through. Like, you're just a gross little turd bucket who probably never would have gotten that Ferrari in the first place. You think she wants you? Do you think you could you, you could even afford a 2022 20, Ferrari with 200,000 miles on it? Because I bet you still couldn't afford that Ferrari. I bet you're still not even in the realm of getting that Ferrari. You are so far from getting that Ferrari that all you can do is shit on that Ferrari. And it is the same with that woman. If we really want to compare women to cars, you couldn't even get, you couldn't even, you couldn't even ride that ride, let alone let it ride you. Oh, I hate it here. 2022, she's marking her 
boobs and her child. Uh, 2025, her boobs are the same height as her child, which they're lower than they were before. Um, the first thing I'm noticing is the artist drew the boobs exponentially bigger in the second one, which is very confusing to me because the baby's younger in the 2022 one, and so if she had birth breasts, she would have them then. Like, they would be abnormally larger after birth than three years after the birth. She's the same everything except her boobs are sagging, but they're also like three times as big as they were in the first artist rendering. Uh, this also is one of those things I feel like we often talk about when we talk about anything regarding this subject, which is for some reason, people just love to put children into adult themes. Why are you <laughs> using this child to show the measurement of her tits sagging? What a weird concept. Why did your brain go, oh, you know how you measure children? What if you were measuring your breasts and the child? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's so fucking weird. There's not much to say about this. Yes, women's bodies do change. Uh, not everybody's. It really just depends on your breast size and what kind of bras you wear, shape where you wear, because depending on what you wear, it can change how, how your body looks later in life. Yes, some women's boobs sag when they get older. Welcome to, to the real world. Stop shaming getting older. <sighs> it's just weird. Also, stop putting children and stuff like this. You look strange. Hey pal, stop looking at my butt. I said stop it. You pig. Hashtag me too. That's not how that works. God, I really hate that this is something that people actually think, oh, it was on the advanced man Facebook. Wow, we're really figuring out why um, that man actually is not that advanced. Making fun of sexual assault it makes you an absolute terrible fucking person. I don't care what you say. You are a piece of shit. This is something that is so real, that happens to so many women. There are so many statistics to support it. Yes, it also happens to men, but, but when we're talking about the statistics and the sheer volume, it is mainly men perpetrating against women. And to take something like the Me Too movement, which is about sexual assault, and to, and to make it into a meme about them wanting it, you're fucking gross. This, I can't even make jokes about this one because it's honestly just pissing me off. And it, it takes away from very real experiences when you do stuff like this. Like there are probably many people who have seen this comic that have been through something regarding SA that are just completely invalidated because you wanted to discredit victims. That's not funny, that just makes you a piece of shit. Man, okay, he's looking at boobs. Man, looking at boobs. Man, looking at boobs, boy, looking straight forward into the camera. So first of all, something I wanna say about the man pictures is I don't wanna be like, oh, these, these celebrities are definitely looking at their boobs because these are all like um, moments on camera when you're being filmed constantly. So if somebody happens to look down, somebody happens to look to the side, whatever, and you still that, it's gonna look like they're staring at breasts no matter what. Um, and I, I know what you're probably gonna be you're like, oh, he's, he's clearly looking, he's clearly looking. Um, to me, a lot of these look like they're talking and looking down or looking to the side and a picture's taken. Right, so I don't want to immediately jump on these celebrities and be like, oh, th those three are pervs because they're they're constantly being filmed. They're celebrities. It's so um, ironic that this one and the one that we just looked at are next to each other because in this one you have what is supposed to be men staring directly at women, very obvious, very blatantly sexualizing the fuck out of them and being like, now that's a real man. And then you have you have Tom being called a boy because he's being respectful and taking a photo with a woman without engaging with her breasts. Um, I guess you could say he's actually engaging with her instead of just her breasts, which is uh, something that some people seem to have a really hard time doing. I don't know when we decided that men just being disrespectful and terrible people is what makes them a man and being respectful and nice to women makes them a boy. It's so funny because if you talk to a woman when they use the like men versus boy argument, they usually are like a real man is polite to his woman and, and cares about her and takes care of her and a boy is is like the pictures that show men. I don't know. I don't understand how being a real man is making women uncomfortable and, and sexualizing them and making people feel awkward and uncomfortable in their own bodies. I don't understand how that makes you a man. I feel like that makes you a pervert. Feminists when they hear people are being drafted for World War Three. Uh, you know what's funny about this is I've actually been on <laughs> World War Three women drafted TikTok. Um, I hope somebody else has been too because that's a weird sentence to say out loud where it's all women making jokes about the draft being like, <laughs> like assigning who's gonna be in what positions, who will be in the tank, who's gonna be taking charge, like different, just funny little TikToks like that. Seeing the 
this just makes me laugh because it's like you have all these women that are like mm, here to serve and here to serve and that's like what the women are making jokes about but then you have the men being like they're gonna want to be in the kitchen aren't they they're, they're gonna they're gonna go to the kitchen <laughs> you want to know why because they have one joke they have one fucking joke and it's the kitchen the, making a sandwich the kitchen doing the dishes the kitchen their one joke is the kitchen and then you have women being actually creative about their jokes when it comes to the world war three draft so it's not that like making jokes about it is outrageous because it's a, it, I've seen so many jokes and there's a lot of well done ones it's the fact that the only fucking joke these men are making is they're they're gonna want to be in the kitchen now they're gonna want to be making my sandwich now well like there's so many actually funny and good quality jokes out there about it uh it just goes to show that they will never move past the kitchen joke they they will not evolve you remember evolution there was no evolutionary switch for the kitchen jokes that's just how it is so this one is Witten, Witten, this one's Witten, God, oh, bleh. this one's written from a woman's perspective. So it says, making him nut before he leaves the house so he doesn't have the energy to cheat. I'm gonna fuck my man so he doesn't cheat. <laughs> I'm sorry, this one's just stupid. I just wanted to show you guys that one. Bring back spankings and all this stops within one generation. Um, and it's women doing TikTok dances. I don't know how to tell you this, but having a daughter is not bad. Women dancing is not bad. It's crazy because men are like, oh, I want a girl that moves and I want a girl that's athletic. I want a girl that can dance. Go, men go to strip clubs, like all this stuff, right? And obviously women do those things too sometimes, but mainly men. And then when women are actually portraying these characteristics that they find hot, they're like, they're nothing but a thought. They're nothing but a but a slut. And it, it kind of takes me back to the Ferrari thing, right? Where where they're like, oh, but she, she's like a 200K used Ferrari. And it's like, but you never would have been in the realm for that. She was never gonna be yours. Bring back spankings. I know spankings can be controversial. Uh, I personally don't think you should put your hands on your kids. That's just how I feel, um, regardless. I just think it's fucking weird and there's a lot of different ways to handle it that you don't have to have to resort to spanking them And I think that there's a lot of terrible things that teenagers can be doing and dancing to little TikTok dances in dances Dances in their bedroom is probably the least of your concern. I don't know why this is the thing that people decided to focus on I also don't know the age of the person who made this right this could just be an annoying little teenage boy That's like mm, teenage girls or this could be a grown man being super fucking weird about young girls Either way, it's stupid. One's a lot worse though. And because this is on Facebook, I can't help but feel it's probably the latter. This goes, just let people enjoy things, right? Like anything that women enjoy is suddenly like, bring back spankings. Oh God, ew, oh, I don't want a thought, daughter. It's like when everybody was so mad because girls liked pumpkin spice lattes and wearing a scarf and everybody was like, ew. Now it's things like TikTok dances. Ew, gross, bring back spankings. Or just let people fucking enjoy things. You know, there's a lot of young women who have made complete careers off of doing a little on TikTok. And to that I say, amazing, good job. You did something with something you enjoyed. I don't understand why that's a bad, like, that's a bad thing. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. For those of you that have been waiting for the sapphic book review, I'm almost done with the first one I'm gonna be reviewing. I should finish it tonight, actually. And then I have to read the next book for the series, which I think is actually a little smaller than this one. So that video should be coming soon. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like the video, like it. If you really like it, subscribe. Um, stuff will be in the description and bye.